All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have Krisha and Ava with Fish and Lens. Let's give them a hand, folks. Hi, I'm Krisha. And I'm Eva Tiki. And we're a team of three students seeking to make serious changes in the glasses industry. We've received advice from entrepreneurs, venture capitalists, and professors at our school, helping us with both business development and prototyping. But before we move on, let me introduce you to the most important member on our team, Louise. Louise is a nine-year-old girl who loves playing basketball, but she has a problem. Her vision is terrible, and every six months, her glasses prescription needs to be updated. But that means paying $120 twice a year just to get a new pair of glasses. By the time that Louise is 18, her parents will have spent thousands on updating her eyewear so their nine-year-old daughter can keep playing the sport that she loves. And this is a problem that affects almost 200 million glasses and contacts users in the United States alone. But in the current market, the only way to update prescription is to completely replace the lens, which can cost hundreds of dollars to consumers. But luckily for Louise and the millions of other children around the world like her, we have a better solution, the Fission Lens. Fission is a thin film-like plastic that molds directly onto the existing glasses lens, just like this. Think of it as a more permanent pair of contacts, but for your glasses, making micro-adjustments in prescription. We already have an initial prototype and are currently collaborating with a manufacturing company to improve it going forward. With Fission Lens, Louise goes from seeing this to this. But what are the actual benefits here? In three words, there's cost, clarity, and customizable. Neither of our competitors can provide all of these benefits, but we get all three. We're able to maintain high clarity due to the type of the plastics and adhesive that we use. We are customizable to any base lens, and we have the lowest cost available in the market. Based on initial prototyping, a pair of Fission lens can be produced for well under $2, meaning that consumers are now getting a prescription update for only about $23. This means that with Fission lens, Louise goes from spending thousands over her lifetime paying for her eye care to spending merely hundreds. We're gonna be partnering with major retailers like Costco and Target, with insurance companies and launching online, focusing primarily on kids between the ages of seven and 16, since this is where glasses prescription changes the most. Long term, we're aiming to capture the majority of the glasses industry in the United States, a goal that is entirely feasible to the much lower cost of our product relative to everything else that's out there. By securing 51% of the national market for this industry, we can make over $765 million annually. Now, of course, there's a lot of commercial benefits with this product in countries like the United States, but there are also 2.5 billion people around the world who need glasses but can't get access to them, hindering education, development, and economic opportunities. There are organizations like Lions Club International that seek to address this problem, but Fission can do so much more in this area because we're able to provide a much more long-term and sustainable solution to this problem. But in order to reach this end goal, we need to first focus on improving our prototype. So $3,000 from this competition would go directly towards that, and more specifically towards helping us secure more advanced machinery. We've already invested our own money and seed money from previous contests, but these $3,000 would be the funds that we need to turn a corner in prototyping and really actually launch our product. So let's break down all of these benefits. Fission is a completely new alternative to traditional glasses lens replacement. Because of our low cost, we have serious potential as a product that fills a long-standing consumer-driven need, but also can do a great deal of good philanthropically. With Fission, you, me, and Louise can all get a prescription update for just $23, not 300. So today, we're asking you to join us in revolutionizing the glasses industry with an all-around more effective alternative to traditional glasses lens replacement. Vision, the future of vision. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Vision Lens. Uh, fun. So there's been a lot of innovation in the eyewear industry with uh, like Warby Parker and things along those lines. Do you feel like they would jump on or do you want to partner with them? How does that look for, for those guys? Yeah, so that's definitely something that we want to work toward, like learn towards um, progressing into that industry. A big thing with us is that we do want to keep our prices low for consumers. So we don't want to end up blowing up the markup to the point where it's basically as expensive as normal glasses. So if that's something we could do while partnering with these organizations and businesses, then we're totally looking to do those kind of things as well. Can the consumer put this on the glasses themselves or does a professional need to be the one who installs them? 
Yeah, so there's two ways of doing it. A lot of it, we wanted to make sure it's accessible to the consumer on an individual basis. And like we mentioned, it's customizable to the shape of their lens. So a lot of it is using the using laser cutting machinery beforehand that already cuts out or the shape into a larger sheet of plastic that once the consumer gets, they can pop right off and put onto their glasses. And so that's where a lot of the funds would be going towards making sure that process is as smooth as possible. How did you handle uh, prototyping up to this point? Um, so, so far we've been working mostly with proof of concept things, make sure that like our product can actually change that prescription. We're currently in contact with a manufacturing company in terms of getting the laser cutting technology to get those exact prescription changes that we need, but we have proved the concept itself works. Um, we've also been working with mentors and teachers at our school to help make sure that the physics is all there and that this is something that definitely can be created, which we've shown that it can. Have they validated that your costs are realistic? Yeah, those costs have been done working with um, our mentors okay. as well. And with like the two dollars, those take into account production costs, distribu distribution distribution costs, and all overhead costs into account with like labor and things like that. And the reason it's so cheap is because plastic is really the only big thing that's going into this. Plastic is extremely cheap, and we're able to mass produce it. So that's going to drive down our costs a lot. How does this work with the optometrist who are prescribing? So you still have to go in every six mm -hmm. months and get your prescription updated, and then the concept is then they prescribe mm -hmm. this versus an actual new set of eyewear, is that yeah. right? Yeah, so that is the way we're looking at right now. There's also a lot of technology that has been emerging recently with ways that on the internet, you can like take tests to determine prescription. The technology isn't quite there to the point we would want it to be yet, but in the emerging years, that is technology that's expected to come out. Um, so we're also gonna be transitioning towards that as well and trying to develop it ourselves. Can you layer them on top of each other? So can somebody try to update their prescription twice? Yes, so that's another one of the biggest features of this. You can stack up to three fission lens with what prototyping we've done thus far. And so with each one making a change of around 0.25, you can change prescription up to 0.75 by just stacking. And as we get more machinery and we're able to cut the plastic to thinner layers, we're looking to expand that to a greater number as well. Another good way to think of this is like the screen protectors on your phone. So you notice that uses a specific type of adhesive and plastic that's completely clear. And so that's part of the reason that we're allowed to stack and able to stack more multiple of them without actually losing any of those benefits and clarity. Judges, if there are no further questions, ladies and gentlemen, let's give Fission Lens a hand. Thank you. Thank you, ladies.